What's up guys, King Daddy DMac, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Man, I will just never get used to seeing this. So excited to start up our new base project. Just look at how much space we have to expand. Man, but before getting into any more projects, I had made a promise that once we got the update, we would go exploring, and exploring we shall go. Um, Want to find a good snow biome, get some ice with our uh, silk touch, and uh, I'd like to find a jungle too, because I want to be able to set up a cocoa bean farm. And, oh, come on. Come on, rain, go away. Anyway, I'm getting pretty low on food. I think I have just about everything I'll need for the trip. Got in our uh, ender chest a silk touch pick to bring along with us. I just don't want to carry it on my person. Got all nice shiny diamond armor. So we will be able to survive the hike. Just got to get some more food. So I'm going to do a quick slaughter over at the Moo Moo Tower. And uh, we'll be off. Alright, so just getting some food ready for our journey. Did a nice little slaughter. But I just realized, look at in our Moo Moo Tower. What happened to the cows? I have no clue. The only thing that I can really guess, because I did it, I don't think the update would have made them just disappear like that. I'm guessing while I sat here AFK, uh, probably a thunderstorm or something maybe came and lightning struck it and killed them. It's the only thing that I can really think of, so I'm going to have to reload this thing. One of the most annoying things about this when you have to reload them. But anyway, as soon as this finishes cooking up, we will be on our way. Alright, I wanted to do another quick test because a lot of people are having problems with their elevators. And... I've been trying out my zipper, the zipper in particular, and it works for me as long as I put my settings to max as FPS. It works just about every time. I want to see if it does it while I'm recording as well, because the fraps can possibly mess it up. Yeah, see? That's what happens while the fraps is recording. But if I turn it off, if I turn the fraps off, then it works. Let me just try changing my settings and see if this makes any difference hmm. all right now let's try unbalanced All right, we got a little bit further that time. Hmm. I'm willing to bet it's either the fraps is lagging it out, or because my fraps is set to 30 frames per second, maybe if I up to that to the max. I'm going to try that real quick and see if that works. I'll be right back. All right, now I have my fraps set to 60 frames per second. Let's see how this works. Ooh, so close. So freaking close. Try one more time. Oh, all right. Now I'm going to try it. I put it back to the max FPS. Let's try it on balance now. Look at that. See? Not broken. Not broken at all. You just got to change around your settings. So, very happy about that. This actually looks much better, but unfortunately the file sizes are far, far too large when I run it like this. So anyway, I'm going to change my settings back, and I will meet you over at the NPC Village. Alright. Oh man, how long I have been wanting to go the wild is calling us let's finally venture out one last look at our inventory 
Is there anything else we need? I think we are good. I think we are good. So, let's get the heck out of here and start exploring. So, I have, as I said before, the coordinates that are probably the uh, mushroom biome. And that's actually in the opposite direction. But that is really far away. So, we're not going to do that today. But we're going to do that very soon. Ooh, caves. So, I think we are now, we went from the plains. I think this is now the hills biome. Let's see if we can get up there. Woo! Awesome. Let's see what we can see. We see a snowy area in the distance. Wow. This is really cool. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever gone this far before. And here it's just right outside of my area. Alright. Well, I'm going to Ender Pearl from mountain to mountain. Because that is just oh so much fun. I put a whole bunch of ender pearls in our ender chest as a backup. Ooh, look at all the lag I'm getting. All because of unexplored chunks, newly generated chunks. Alright, so what do we have going on here? We might even run into a new NPC village. So much. Wow, that's really bizarre. Um, I guess it's already loaded, but you see those sharp edges there? That's because it was, this was kind of like a, I guess we had gone, or I'd gone close enough that the chunks over here had loaded. And when the jungles first got introduced, um, they didn't match up with the world quite right, so we might have a couple of weird l landscapes. But let's see. That is so bizarre and cool looking though. Look at that. And then we have a random thing of water coming out. That's weird. Look at this. All right. Right now we are in the extreme hills. And when is this going to switch this biome? All right, it still says extreme hills. Yet this is an ocean biome. When's it going to switch? Huh. Alright. Beach. Is that a new biome? I don't remember. Oh, I guess just because of the sand. And then we have Jungle Hills. That's cool. Uh-oh, and it's almost nighttime. I didn't bring a bed. Kind of on purpose. In case we go too far, I wanted to be able to just kill myself and get spawned back. So I guess we're going to have to sort of shack up for the night. Let's see how big this is before the sun goes down. What the heck? <gasps> Cocoa beans! Woo! Look at them. It's awesome. Can we break these with our hands? Yep. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. And I guess cookies now give you two hearts instead of just one. So it gives it a little bit more of a benefit than melon. I mean, come on now. They have to do something because what do you need? You need a wheat and two of the cocoa beans just for one cookie. That is kind of lame for only one heart, but it is a cookie. All right. Let's see if we can get up here. Come on, 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 come on. No! I want to get somewhere high, some high vantage point. Let's turn off this F3. Wow, I thought it was just going to be a little area, but this is decently large. Just, I guess, skinny or something. Let's see, can we get on top of one of these trees? All right, I'm going to try an ender pearl up on top of it. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, yes! Yes, we did it. Look at that. Beautiful! What the heck is that over there? Alright, we gotta go check it out. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should wait until morning. Or if we should just go for it. Alright, you know what, let's just go for it. I'm, I'm excited. I cannot wait. What 
the heck is that? Is that gravel or smooth stone just jutting out? What does this say? Are we still... Yep, jungle hills. Huh. There's more cocoa beans. Oh, and I guess they have a new graphic, too. Let's look real quick. Yep, look kind of like... I don't know, I kind of liked the old one better. But, whatevs. Alright, let's get our more cocoa beans. Oh, I like how they just randomly generate on the trees. That's so cool! Speaking of which, we need to get some jungle wood while we're here. But I want to see if there is any of those jungle like fortresses. Ooh, look at ocelots! Ocelots! Oh, I forgot fish! I want to catch one so bad. Come here! Come here, kitty! He's spazzing out! Aw, oh, I want him. Alright, so I think I am going to spend a little bit of time farming some trees. And then once it gets light out, we'll go explore more. Oh, look at the sunrise. So beautiful. Man, and we are, like, right on the freaking cloud level. This is a really crazy biome. I can't believe that I haven't been to a jungle biome before in this world. But very neat. It's been... I haven't seen a single mob all night, and we're playing... We're on hard. I don't know if it's the ocelots that keep them away, or... What? I know ocelots will chase creepers, but I don't think they affect any other mobs, so I guess there's just not a lot of spawning space, or... No clue. Anyway, I went, I chopped down an entire jungle tree, and only got two saplings. So, kind of stinky. Um, we'll have to... I think I had heard that they don't spawn as regularly from the disintegrating leaves so i really don't know but let's continue onward i've just been hoping watching the leaves disintegrate hoping more saplings will come out but it doesn't look i'm i'm having any such luck oh oh there's a couple don't disappear we need you I guess there's just not as many leaves that spawn on jungle trees either. So that's probably part of it. But yeah, let's venture onward. Alright, now another thing in the update too. I heard creepers do significant more damage. So I'm kind of curious about that. Interested in running into one. Thank you. Let's see what we have over here. Does it continue? Oh, look at that. Got a nice snow biome over there. Let's head over. I've not seen any of these jungle castle... Whoa. Jungle castle things. So I don't really know how they're going to work. But I may spend some time looking for one off camera. All right. Let's go find our ice. And eventually we're going to set up a nether portal to both this jungle and in a nice little area where we can make a ice machine. It's not ice there. This is what the Targa, they call it. Or Taiga, Targa. I don't know. All right. Generating, generating. Do we have ice? Whoa. That's weird. Get it? It's so weird now, too, the way this works. You get, like chunk ears in your world, which you never used to get before in single player. So kind of frustrating. Like that. Look at that. Very odd. Cool. Alright, let's find a nice little area, and... Is this all frozen yet? No. Alright, so I guess that leaves it. jungle there. 
Really cool biome. Ah, chicken! I have been looking for you so much. Awesome. Alright, so we got our feathers. We can finally make that other thing. Snowy jungle! <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Cocoa beans. Alright, stop getting distracted. Go back to the snow biome. Go back to the snow biome. Alright. I guess this is going to have to do... Is this... Let's just see. Is this part of the jungle or is this part of... River. Interesting. So, river... Taiga. Taiga. Yeah, there's no R in it. Taiga. Alright, I'm going to sort of make a little area here where we can collect some ice. Oh my god, look it! It's the first time, I think, in this Let's Play we are witnessing snow. Man, I feel like it should be Christmas or something. It should be giving out presents. Presents! Yeah, so I've been waiting for this ice to freeze. It takes forever. Oh my god, I should probably just find a new area that already has ice on it. But, yeah. You know what? Just in the sake of my sanity, I think we're just going to harvest it right now and move on. Alright, got the Silk Touch pick. Let's start to get these babies ready. Ready? One, two, three! Awesome! Woo! Our first ice block. That is pretty dang sweet. Now, had we gotten Silk Touch sooner in the Let's Play, um, ice you could pick up for a while. So we actually, I think, could have had... I'm pretty sure that you could have picked up ice before of Silk Touch in one of the older versions. Maybe it was just in a snapshot. But, yeah. I'm excited, guys! We can start doing some more efficient tracks to move items around. We can use this ice so that we can uh, just run around faster. And it is also quite the cool looking block just on its own. Woo! I know I don't sound that excited right now. Just freaking waiting for this stuff to freeze. It's like watching grass grow. It just takes forever! I wonder if one of these blocks are able to form if there's another thing inside of the water. I wonder what happens to the item. And I wonder if you're standing there if the water if the ice can freeze or the water can freeze and then what happens to you. But I guess these are all questions we'll have to answer later. It's a sweet overstack already. You're just flying through the silk touch, but this is the main thing that I wanted to use it for. So, let's finish getting this ice, and then let's move on. Alright guys, so the snow finally stopped. We're about halfway through the night, but I was able to get now five stacks of ice, so I think that should be good enough. I went through almost half of our freaking pick. Let's get out this stupid stuff that we don't need. And yeah, I think I am going to venture on before I leave. And you know, I think I'm just going to leave that chest there so that we know that we've been here before because I've got three more. But um, yeah, before this episode ends, I want to find a freaking jungle fortress or whatever you call it, jungle ruin. Either that or one of the sand ruins. So, I'm going to venture on. I still haven't seen any mobs yet. This is just insane. I don't know what the heck is with these biomes that they're just spawning underground. Or what? Alright, it's morning and it's a pretty cool spot we have at the other end of this jungle. It's a pretty skinny jungle, it seems. I think that's the tar uh, taiga that we were in over there. 
the jungle. We have a desert over this way and then a swamp over there. I haven't come across any of the jungle things yet. But it looks like there's something over that way. I can't really tell. So why don't we go take a closer look? It's possible it could be one of those desert things. I don't know. Or it could just be the shadowing. What's over here? No. Come on! Where are you? Alright, so I went all the way to the end of the desert. The jungle was... You can't even see it now. It was like right over there. It looks like there's an ocean biome. A pretty cool, another extreme hills biome. I love how these just jut up from the ground like that. But then I see something over the distance there, and I wouldn't think much of it. But look at that. It looks like it's orange. That is sweet. So let's go take a closer look. Ooh, oops. Oh, we found it. We freaking found it. Ooh, don't land the cactus. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Wow. All right, and that's just orange wool. It looks like another taiga. Oh, this is so sweet. And I really haven't looked, watched many other people's videos or looked up much about this. I just kind of knew that they could generate and that they're booby trapped. So we're going to have to be careful. Let's go on top of it and see what it looks like on top. Huh. Her. That's kind of cool. And then what's over here? Ooh. Secret stairway in. It's weird how the lighting updates like that. Kind of scared. There might. I don't know if they have tripwire in these ones yet. Alright, so they can go in that way and this way. Ooh, what's over here? I don't know. Let's... Let's light this up a little bit. All right, so on both sides, it looks like it's pretty symmetrical. Huh. Wow, this is really cool. He uses all the new blocks. All right, so I think this right here, there's supposed to be maybe like a chest or something. Oh, let's go up here first. Whoa. All right, so that's the drop in from the top. Is that how we came in? Then what's back here? Alright, so maybe we went in there and I didn't even notice this. There's the cactus there. Wow, this is just so cool. Got a nice ocean view. Awesome. Alright, let's, let's do this. Let's see what's in here. There's supposed to be, I think, booby-trapped. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Alright, let's try and miss the pressure plate. Alright, I think that right there might ignite TNT or something. Yeah. Whoa! Let's get this all picked up so that we don't blow ourselves up. Is that all of it? Nope. Alright, I think that's all of it. Yeah. Awesome, guys. This is so sweet. I love the feeling of doing something that you's just, you haven't done before. It brings more excitement to the game. It's been so long since there's been anything that I didn't know exactly what it was. Awesome. Right, get our ender pearl. All right, so hopefully that's everything, and nothing else is gonna surprise me. Nice. Wow. Some really good freaking chests. Let's get all this stuff. Woo. 
Look at that, 42 gold, only one diamond. But then that and then the iron too. That is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Let's get out of here now. Let's see if I can pearl up there. We should probably light this up a little bit. I don't want mobs to spawn in there in the future. Oh, all right, just made it. The blue wool, probably the rarest wool in the game. Awesome. All right, so let's light this up just a tad. Just a tad. Woo! So, we found our desert little thing. Is that everything in here? So, pretty small. The booby traps are pretty minor. So, I'm kind of curious if there's anything else that I just don't know about. Did we already look down here? That's just another entrance. That is really sweet, though. I don't like destroying these things. Although I kind of wish some of the blocks, they wouldn't have just let you make all the sandstone. Like, I kind of wish that you couldn't make that block, say. And that you could only get it from mining it from this thing. Ooh, it looks like there's lava or something over there. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to continue venturing on. And my inventory is pretty full. You know what? I might just hang out here for the night. And see you back in the morning. Man, that's pretty. Oh! Go away. Get out of here. You know what? Eat this bow. Oh! Come on. Eat it! <laughs> Burn in hell! Alright, I kept going in a new direction. Not finding any jungles yet, but pretty cool. This, uh... Taiga just seems to go on forever. I'm kind of excited. I want to see if we can find some wolves as well. Be nice to get some dogs and cats in this game. All these things. There's lots of these interesting little areas here. I don't want to get sidetracked too much. Which is very cool. Alright, let's continue on. Sweet! Pumpkins! Uh-oh, and the sun's going down. Oh no! No, be a village or something. Somewhere that we can take refuge. These plains are not a great place to spend the night if you can avoid it. I'm hoping to God there might be a village or something. I guess they're not as common as they used to be. Oh man, that's a lot of creepers. No, don't gang up on me. I'm so curious. I'm so tempted to just let one blow up on me. But I think there's a few too many. Anyway, I was looking for a village. And I still haven't been able to find one. But take a look at over there. It looks like another desert stronghold. And that one looks really sweet. Because it looks like it's surrounded by water. Let's go look at it. Come on. Pearl me away. Whoa, what the hell happened? Okay. Okay. Wow, that's deep. Where did we end up? There we go. Ah, oh, that's freaking sweet looking. Alright, good. And the sun is arising. Let's fly over there. Awesome. Two in one day. Man. That would be so sweet if there was like a village that all of a sudden generated right there. Just wait for the sun to come up. 
Man, I just love sunrises in this game. They're so freaking cool. Sunrises and the sunsets on so many of my videos, especially in my earlier ones, I always tried to start off each episode at like sunrise. It's just hard to do because there's no way to skip fast to it. Man, it's taken a while. Oh, I think it's because it's raining right now. Yeah. So it's not actually showing up. Anyway, but that gives us enough light. Let's take a gander in here. I would have just done this one off camera. But the treasures that they hide inside are just oh so good. There's no way I would want to skip it. I want to see how uniform that these are. You know, I was just thinking that would suck if that was a wooden pressure plate. Because when you break that, it would press it down. And that would be awful. <sighs> Get a little close there. Alright, let's get this TNT again. <sighs> that would be an awful death right there. Just, you must feel just so stupid dying that way too, because it's so obvious it's a trap. Huh. I wonder if I did that. Alright, so it looks like we're all good in the hood. Let's see what we get. Nice, another six gold. Get this stuff in there. I'm gonna have to do an ender chest. But anyway, let's look at them all. Crappy chest. Ooh, two diamond this time. And an emerald. We're rich in more emeralds. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. Well, I'm gonna clean this up and then we will continue our hunt. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Nice! Made it. Made it, made it. Awesome. Alright. Alright, so I broke down and made a bed finally. Because I was just getting too annoyed not being able to see what's going on. It's really cool how you can place the, uh, the log sideways now. But anyway, I really don't know if these are just that rare to find, but this is now the second or third jungle that we've been to. And it could also be that they just are pretty well hidden and I'm just not seeing them. But I don't know. However, if we don't find one soon, it's going to have to be in the next episode. And I love <laughs> I love jumping around with ender pearls from tree to tree. It's just so freaking fun. Come on! What is that? Chickens. Freaking chickens up the butt in here. Everywhere. Whereas we can't find them when we need them. They're everywhere when I don't give two craps about them. What's that? Kind of cool caves over there. But I think what we're looking for is mossy cobblestone. Come on! Not so. Oh. That was a close one. What's this over here? Just another chunk air. Eh, eggs. Might as well take those because we do need them. Thank you. We can get chickens of our own. Come on, egg. Piss me off. Where are you? Where are you? I should be killing all these chickens, but I hate killing mobs without a farm. In case I ever want to go back and get them. Because we're not that far away right now. I don't think I've gone more than 2,000 blocks away from our base as of yet. Which is kind of why I broke down and made the bed. Because I don't want to... I still am not going to venture that far out yet until we go for the mushroom biome. 
Pikmin. All right, and it looks like this jungle is ending fairly soon. In fact, I may just be walking around in circles. I should probably be paying a little bit better attention. But I've just been surveying. Being a surveillator. <laughs> oh, and it ends back in desert. All right, so I'm just going to search this a little bit better. And if we can't find it, I'm going to head home and uh, empty out our chests. Because we are getting pretty full. Our ender chest is completely full right now. All right, well, cross your fingers, guys, that we find something. All right, I searched every freaking inch of this place, and I cannot find one. I don't think any of the ones we've been to yet. Oh, he's so cute. Have this little stronghold. Come here, buddy. Come here. And that's the other desert thing. You know what? I'm going to have to end the episode off, but let's just end it off with catching an ocelot. They're so cute. Look at him. <laughs> I'm going to get you, buddy. I'm going to get you. What are you going to do? Do you like the water? No, he doesn't like the water. Oh, poor little kitty. You don't like the water? Got you cornered. <laughs> oh, look at him go. All right. Let's make... Uh, I can't wait. I want to get a cat. Let's make a fishing pole. Let's get some fish and let's catch us a cat. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. There we go. Alright. So, let's go fishing. It's probably going to take a while. So, after we catch the first one, I'll do it off camera. Come on. I hope he doesn't drown. Come on, fish. Where are you? Nice. All right. So I'm going to get a bunch of them, and then we'll catch us a kitty cat. All right. I was able to get six fish, so hopefully that will be good enough for one ocelot. I was following the little guy that we scared over this way. He swam all the way across, and then up there, and then I think he despawned. Which makes me sad, Faze, because that's the one I wanted. Oh, well. Alright, let's sleep real quick. They seem to be much easier. Or at least easier for me to see during the day. Alright. Let's find us an ocelot. So I think if I remember correctly, you just got to kind of, once you see one, chill there with the fish out and they'll come up to you. I think, but I'm not really sure. All right, there was a whole bunch of them before around here. Where'd they go? All right, it's the beans. Man, these beans are just wicked common now in the jungle. I thought they'd still be something kind of rare, but just everywhere. I wonder if once you break them, though, if they don't ever respawn or grow, or... I don't even know how they work, how the whole farming of them necessarily works. If they can regrow themselves or spread, or if you have to plant them every time. That I don't know, but I will find out, because we're definitely going to have to make a farm for them. Because they are so cute. Alright, where is a damn ocelot? Man, I swear, it's like the game knows I'm looking for one. It makes them hard to find. Just because I got fish. Or is it because I'm in... Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Come here. Come here. Alright, here he comes. Hi. Yes, we got a cat. We got a cat. Oh, listen to him. He was purring. 
Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. What should we name him? What should we name him? Oh, I love you. Oh, what should I name you? I don't know. I'm horrible at naming things. You guys, help me. Help me to pick out a name for our kitty cat. What should we name him? Oh. All right, we have four fish left. I guess we could try and get another cat, but you know what? I'm going to save them. I think one cat is good enough for now. Come on, kitty. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head home unless I run into something really cool on the way. We will, yeah, call it quits. All right, we're getting pretty close to home, but I just had to show you guys this because it was so crazy looking. Look at that. I wonder if that's really like that or if it's just not showing up correctly. Let's see. No, it's really like that. It's freaking awesome. Ah, oh, I love these extreme hills. On occasion, you can get lucky and sometimes find like a spawner inside of something like this. And then you have a spawner way high up. I had that in one world before I started YouTubing. So hopefully they still allow that, but it's really cool if you can find it. All right, so I think just over these hills up here is home. Here we are, home sweet home. I made it back, and it wasn't too bad at all. These ender pearls are really are a lifesaver for exploring. I'm kind of curious to see what happens to our kitty cat when we go into the nether and then back out there. If he'll just generate right over to us. All right, home sweet home. And I don't hear any kitty yet, but we shall see. We shall see. So anyway, look at all the sweet stuff we got today. Almost a stack of gold, three diamonds, four emeralds. That's kind of weak. I want to probably next time we'll try and mine for some emeralds. I'll read up where's the best places to find them. Got our jungle trees. Only seven saplings that whole time. But um, we'll set up a cocoa farm soon. And yeah, pretty good. Got that ice. Nice. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.